where County Road 95 meets the water, you'll find one of Baldwin County's iconic getaways. Yeah. Pirates Cove has been catering to locals and visitors alike for more than 60 years. Order to Andrea Thomas. Just a few miles north of here is Wolf Field, a U.S. Navy airfield being considered to house thousands of illegal immigrants while they await status hearings. It's the second time in two years the feds have proposed housing immigrants here. Business owner and fire chief of the Josephine Volunteer Fire Department, Paul Mueller, isn't happy. It's a horribly bad idea. Uh, the, there is no infrastructure at Wolf Field for that. As a first responder for that area, we don't have the people to support a place like that. I mean, I've got you know, eight volunteers. Others who live in the area also have strong feelings against it, saying the money spent on housing illegal immigrants could be better spent. We have people here that could use that mm -hmm. uh, medical care and stuff, our own citizens, and you're bringing somebody else in and giving it to them, I just think it's wrong. I don't like it. I mean, we don't need it. Um, you know, it's, it's, if they want to put them somewhere, they should put them somewhere else. Out there in the middle of nowhere is not the spot, you know. Baldwin County Commissioner Chris Elliott sent a letter to U.S. Senator Richard Shelby asking for support in efforts to thwart the Fed's plan. In the letter, Elliott cited some of the same concerns that were voiced two years ago. He said, in part, an additional 25,000 residents along with the support personnel to guard, feed, educate, process, and care for these individuals would only serve to further tax our system. In light of these concerns and restated issues, we ask that you carefully review and reconsider the implications of such an action for our community. Commissioners Chris Elliott and Tucker Dorsey, along with uh, Sheriff Haas Mack, will be heading to Washington, D.C. on Wednesday. They plan to meet with the, the Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. U.S. Congressman Bradley Byrne has also voiced his opposition to this proposal. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.